guys, today we're doing an unboxing of the Telstra Smart Modem with cable adapter. So if you don't have MBM already, you get a little cable adapter, you just have to plug into this uh, modem right here. So that's the cable adapter and that's your modem. So we'll just um, unbox it and show you what we get in here. So you get instructions of, so there your cable modem is, and then you just plug it into here with the wife port. Pretty simple and at the back here it just shows the Wi-Fi password and all that. So we'll take it out, we'll take this one out first. We'll just sit that over there, see what else is in the box. There's nothing under there, and nothing under there either. I'm assuming your power supply will be in here. There should be two of them. So I'm assuming that's for the actual smart modem. And uh, for the cable one, all the power stuff should be in here. And there's a bit of plastic holding that. I'll be back in two seconds. And we're back, and you're just gonna wanna lift it up like this. And wow, it's a lot smaller than I expected. The um, cable modem is tiny. So this is it here, very tiny little modem. Uh, so to give you some coax ports, as well as the power, the WAC port, and you can plug this into any of your devices. And you get a little stand. So now we'll get rid of all the box stuff and show you um, everything all set up. So first of all we're going to show you how to put the stand on the um, cable motor. So basically you just want to click it in. And this one's pre-set up. So you just sit that like that. And you just want to peel the plastic. Now, as you see at the top of the modem here, you'll, now this is if it's using uh, 4G. So this thing has built-in 4G. So if there's an outage with your cable, um, it actually kicks in 4G, which is pretty cool. And it tells you your password and all that there. As well as you can add antennas to get even better signal. Something like that. So down here, you can even have this with um, DSL. So you have the DSL, your phone, as well, that's your MBN port, by the way. And you got um, four sockets, which is pretty cool. And that's basically it with the video. And um, you just got some buttons around here, the power and your Wi-Fi. So if you want to turn that off, you can. And that is it. So I hope this gave you a bit of an idea of what's in the box. And yeah, we'll be doing a setup video a little bit later. And um, hopefully you tune into that. Alright guys, we'll catch you then.